It's never going to come and it's never going to go. It's always here and it's always still. That's where you become free. And that's why the one you're seeing outside of yourself is going downhill. It's going to burn. It's going to be destroyed. It's because the house is burning and you need to wake up and get pulled out of it to be saved out of it or you're going to get burned with it. So now, let's... Hi, Artie. Nice to see you. So, now, let's go to the topic that I mentioned to you. How do you deal with this? All right? How do you deal with this? What is stillness? How do you stay still? How do you stay in your center? How do you do that? What does this mean? Is that the more you practice, the more you shift your attention, okay? And just pay attention to what I'm saying, please. Don't get distracted with anything. Don't write anything. Don't play with your pets. Don't go on your phone. Just pay attention for a minute, okay? Because I want you to get this. All right? I really want you to get it because this is going to help you if you get it. Your attention is on a false place. You're putting your attention on your thoughts, on your feelings, on your body, and on the world events. Right now, your attention is on the world events. Okay? So your attention is on the false place, in the core of spiritual awakening. You have to take your attention of the world that you're seeing, you're sensing with all your five senses and everything, you have to take your attention off of it. You can't, you can't have to take your focus out of it. I know it's crazy, it's around you, and your nervous system is involved with it. Mine too, okay? Mine too. My nervous system gets affected by it. And I'll give you some examples. So, you don't make this projection on me that, oh, this guy is probably an Iron Man. This is not true. Okay? You have to take your attention from being involved with what is happening in the world and shift your attention towards inwards into this place inside yourself, which is the observer, is the one which is sitting here simply watching. So you have shifted your attention to the watcher, to the observer inside yourself. Instead, so you're in this meditative place. You bring your attention to this woman, this man, this thing, this being inside you, that is aware, is totally aware of senses, thoughts, physical body, and is aware of the world outside. So you bring your attention to that one. Instead of keeping your attention on the world outside, and when you bring your attention inwards to this place, you recognize that this one, this dude, this Buddha, this being inside you, is always just sitting here, really chilled, and it's just watching. And it doesn't care what it sees or what happens. Is simply aware of them, but it's not involved with them. It absolutely has no involvement with what is happening in the world or what kind of thoughts it hears or what it feels. It's simply aware of them. It doesn't judge them and doesn't have a preference. It's not preferring this thought 
over that thought or this emotions over that emotion or this world event over that world event. It's simply aware of it. That's it. And this part of you has always been doing this. So this part of you is always still. You need to look for this place inside yourself. This is your ticket. This is your safety. This is your insurance policy. This is how you can free yourself. This is how you can get out. That's where it's still. So you bring your attention in that place. Now, you may not 100% understand what I'm saying. Uh, again, just one moment, please. I apologize. My, <laughs> um, my Instagram live video just ran out. Please, um, let me get this baby going. So, I don't know what happened. Okay. Yeah, so, share. Okay. Just. Cool. Okay, okay. Um, You reconnect, you bring your, divert your attention. And if you don't really understand what I'm saying, okay, it's foreign to you or you're just wondering like, what is he talking about? Start doing a simple practice. Make this your priority that you practice. Number one, A. Implement in your daily practice, daily, you have to do it every day, okay? Because you're so deeply conditioned to reaction that you react all the time to everything. And the world events are made you a yo-yo. You're a yo-yo right now. You're up and down and up and down and up and down. You hear all these bad news and you're freaked out and you're in anxiety and you're taking pills and this and that and drinking or whatever you have to do to calm yourself down. Then a little good news come and you relax and you have your glass of wine and oh, okay, I can go outside on the side cafe and sit down and, and you're happy. Then the next day you're getting this other news that this is going to happen. So you're in the rut you're down, up, down, up constantly according to what you hear from the outside. So that's on the world level. In your relationship with people you're in, involved with, whether you're married, you're in a relationship, you have kids, whatever is your story, you're working, you go to the office or you're working from home and you have a boss or you're the boss or whatever it is is in that in, in a rea in the reaction is that your people you're interacting trigger you. They tell you something you don't like, they insult you or they're emotional or they're freaking out and then you react to them and you freak out and you go up and down or you get angry or you get upset or you blow up or that kind of a thing. 